All right, welcome to Dairy Farm Pest Control number 16. Tonight's adventure will be at a brand new farm that I just got uh, permission for. Um, and as you can see by these photos, uh, these cows have got lots of issues. Uh, there's probably 2,000 uh, starlings that are over these guys and basically crap on them all night long. And here's an example of what they get to listen to all night. All right, and with that, we turn off the lights. All right, so setting up to uh, get these first few and figured while you're watching, I'd uh, fill you in on a, on a comment that I got on one of my other videos uh, regarding these uh, wonderful pests. And it was from a gentleman in the UK who thought I was just the most terrible person because I was shooting all these starlings and how could I possibly do such a thing to such a wonderful and awesome bird? So, first of all, Mr. UK man, I do not live in the UK. I live in the US. And uh, let's go over the history of how these uh, pests came to be. So, back in uh, 1890, Eugene Schifflin, I think I'm saying that right, decided to release 60 pairs in Central Park, New York. One year later, he released another 40 pairs. Of the original 100, 68 died and 32 survived, according to various uh, websites. Since then, they have become a 200 million strong problem. With few natural predators, mostly raptors, they wreak havoc on our native bird populations. They are extremely aggressive to other birds and have been very successful in evicting woodpeckers, wood ducks, tree swallows, bluebirds, purple martins, great crested fly crutchers, fly catchers, yes, screech owls, and sometimes kestrels from their from their own nest sites. They are a constant pests on farms and they transmit parasites and diseases, including E. coli from farm to farm, which can make the animals as well as humans sick. Uh, I think on one website they listed like 40 different pests or parasites these things these things carry a flock of a thousand birds which is uh, not uncommon to be found on a farm uh, as you could see in my earlier video this guy's probably got 2,000 to 2,500 uh, a thousand birds can really can relieve a farmer of 100 pounds of food a day the grapes from vineyards, tomatoes, currants, olives, as well as newly planted seeds in fields. Scientists estimate they cause up to $800 million in agriculture damage every year. <clears throat> as they are a non-native species to the United States, they do not, they're not protected by the Migratory Bird Act, and so therefore they can be destroyed at any time with no permit and no bird limits. So. Um, this basic uh, information also applies to feral pigeons, also known as rock pigeons, as well as English sparrows. Um, so, <clears throat> Mr. UK guy, uh, really sorry about you feeling so sad about these guys, but uh, we don't feel sad at all when we get rid of them, as they are way too aggressive to uh, our native species. And uh, we would much rather protect our native species than have these hordes of flocks of birds take over uh, their nice their nest sites as well as their areas and territories. So, <clears throat> so again, I'm using my FX uh, Dreamline, the bottle version in 177. Um, I basically start out at uh, 250 bar and take it down to 100. Uh, with that, I can get uh, approximately 250, 275 shots out of one bottle, shooting at around 730 feet per second. 
<clears throat> gun's been uh, really accurate um, at those uh, at those speeds. Not as accurate at high speeds, but really nice and accurate at these lower speeds. And so I'm just able to pick them off uh, one at a time with, with no real problems. Can you believe I missed that shot? I can't believe I missed that shot. But oh well, I'll just uh, work my way from left to right here. This guy thinks he's safe. And he was. I missed again. That's crazy. Just too excited. It's really nice when you turn the lights off because they just they don't fly as much and you can basically walk right down the row and uh, and pick them off. Love the way you keep tuning the tumbles. Yeah, don't chase him. Go back to the guys. That guy stood on his end. Woo! Try to get a double. I thought that guy was going to lean in, but he didn't. So, that's all right. All right, I think that uh, might be the last shot. So, oh, I do have one more. That's the last shot for this one. So, Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.